हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप फ्रेंड्स यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट व्हाट आर द फाइव एडवांस ऑप्शंस अवेलेबल इन न्यू वर्जन ऑफ नोकरी डॉट कॉम फ्रेंड्स यू नो वेरी वेल फ्रॉम मार्च ट्वेंटी ऑनवर्ड द क्राइटेरिया द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द नोकरी पोर्टल हैज बीन चेंज सो इन दिस वे द फाइव एडवांस ऑप्शन आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन द न्यू वर्जन ऑफ नोकरी डॉट कॉम एंड दीज फाइव ऑप्शन आर वेरी हेल्पफुल इन अवर डे टू डे रिक्रूटमेंट लाइफ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू द लाइव डेमो आई विल गो टू द नोकरी डॉट कॉम विल शो द प्रोफाइल एंड विल शो यू द यूज ऑफ द फाइव एडवांस ऑप्शन सो फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट लेटेस्ट सी दैट वट आर दाइव ऑप्शन सो फ्रेंड्स आई हैव पेस्टेड द स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ वन प्रोफाइल फाइंड ऑन द नोकरी डॉट कॉम so friends whenever you go through the profile you might have seen that on every profile on right hand side these five options are available that is a add to email forward set reminder and message so these are the five options which are very helpful friend you know very well in the recruitment if you are in a recruitment industry so we have to set a strategy according to the strategy we have to source our profile and meet the daily base target so these five options are helpful to create our strategy better so friends now without delaying any more let's move further but before that if you have not subscribe my channel or new one on my channel so please click on the subscribe button hit on the bell, uh, hit on the bell button as well so you are requested to please subscribe the button now let us move to the nokri.com live demo so friend this is our nokri.com you know very well that whenever you search a profile so in this way on the right hand side these five options are available that is a add to email forward set reminder and message one by one i will tell you that how to use these five option so first option is a add to i tell you that how to use the add to option so this add to option is used i just give you a scenario friend what happen when we source the profile suppose that i am searching the profile for the aws cloud architect okay i am searching the profile for aws cloud architect but generally it happens that we do not get the 100% exact result related to the aws cloud architect in the first and second page the profile we get that is a relevant but if you go to the last pages the some pages on the last side then you find the mix up profile related to the azure cloud or other technologies as well similarly at the last page i have found one profile that is a azure cloud i was finding the aws cloud architect but this profile is related to the azure cloud architect so friend but i know very well that frequently i get the i somewhere i have to work on the azure cloud architect so in this scenario i can save this profile to my add to folder so why we have to do this thing just for the future reference in this way i can save our time in the future that once we get once i get the requirement related to the azure cloud architect that time i will directly go to this add to option i will pick this cv that time okay friend so suppose that this cv is very relevant very seeming like it is very like you know good cv that in that case i can move this profile in my add to folder once you click on the add to you find the two option that is a resex requirement and resex folder these two options are very similar only there is a minor difference i will tell you the difference as well first let us click on the resex requirement if i want to move this profile into the resex requirement just click on this and here you can see here it is mentioned that add to existing requirement if here i have already multiple requirement already are there because i have created it earlier but for just for the reference purpose i am i am click on on the create new i am giving the name of the azure cloud architect this profile is related to the azure cloud architect so i have given the title of azure cloud architect just a minute again i am clicking on the create new and click on the azure architect okay friend 
we have to click on this create option i have got a notification in the green mark that one profile added to the azure architect now where this profile has gone this profile you can see in the future once you click on the regex tab this is the second option regex requirement here you find all the requirement which you have created so i have created the one requirement that is the azure architect in the prospect you may see the result you may see the number of candidate number of profiles available so this is the one profile available in the azure cloud architect if i want to open this cv just click on the prospect you will directly come to see the cv which is already saved in this folder okay friend i hope that this option is clear that is a regex requirement now click on the regex folder let me go to the first tab click i am clicking on the back side now there is a second option that is a regex folder in this similar way whatever whatever the process we follow in the regex requirement same process we have to follow in the regex folder if i want to move this profile in the regex folder just click on the regex folder here same option available that do you want to add in the existing folder or you want to create a new i'm just clicking on the new and given the name of same azure architect click on the create button this option is also available i will tell you later okay friend just click on the create button now where this cv has moved once you click on this regex tab on the boot on the top side this regex tab at the fourth option available that is a personal folder once you click on the personal folder you will see your folder which you have created that is a azure architect this is created on the 11 september just a few second ago so here also you can see how many cv how many candidate are available in this azure architect if you want to open just click on this you will directly come to the the profile which is already saved in this folder so i hope friend you you have understood the uh, the basically the use of add to option now i tell you the difference between the regex requirement and regex folder there is a minor difference that once you click on the regex folder here you find a extra option suppose that i am giving any name here you find a extra option that is a share with the user where we use this option share with user suppose that uh, like i am working in a consultancy five people are also working along with me and my friend is working on the if my if i want to share this folder with my friend might be she is working with the back end developer and i have found the profile related to back end that time i can share this cv i i just moved the one cv in a folder arc and i can share this folder with my friend i have basically i only have to mention the mail id of my friend i have clicked on this shweta so shweta is my friend i am going to share this folder with my friend shweta once you click on the create so this folder will be created also it will be shared to my friend that is a shweta okay but in, if you click on this regex requirement here this option is not available so this is the minor difference that in the regex folder we can also share with the users but in a regex requirement we cannot share it but the use of these two requirement uh, of these two option that is a similar that for the future reference we can move the particular cv in a given folder okay friend now this is the second option that is a email what is the use of this email i tell you one scenario sometimes you might have seen you might have heard that many candidates say that madam please send me the jd when we talk to the candidate regarding the opening of particular requirement in a company particular position okay that time some candidate say that madam please send me the jd i will go through that if that jd exactly matches to my profile i will get back to you or i will revert back to you okay that time what we do earlier that we go to the outlook if that we go to the outlook and we copy the mail id of the candidate we just create the jd we mention all the mandatory mandatory detail in that mail and then we send it further okay but in this new version there is a directly option available of the email we do not have to go to the outlook we do not have to copy the email id of candidate directly click on the email and click on the send email you will come to this page you just fill the mandatory detail whatever details it is asking just fill it that 
and click on the preview and send directly this mail go to the candidate particular candidate so here you have to fill the mandatory point like subject subject means uh, the requirement is related to which position we have to mention the position name so here we have to give the mention the experience name what is the job title job title means position name ctc what is the location what are the mandatory key skills required here you can paste the jd in the message and signature signature of my then click on the preview send and click the further send friend i hope you might be aware that when we do the mass mailing that time we also find the similar kind of page in we have to fill the similar detail if you want me to if you want to know that how to fill the detail in this page then i will send i will copy the link of one of my video in which i have uh, you know uh, fill this detail very well and i have described it how we use it so friend this is a similar kind of the mass mailing when we do the mass mailing that time also we find the similar kind of page for the mass mailing purpose but here we are not going to do the mass mailing here we are going to do the individual mailing but the page is similar once i fill all the detail and click click on the send button so this particular detail will go to the selected candidate only but in mass mailing what happen this kind of detail goes to the multiple selected candidate okay friend so if you have any doubt related to this page i will send you the i will copy the link of one of my video the name is how to do the mass mailing in which you can see that how we have to fill the mandatory detail carefully and very well okay friend so this is a helpful option that nokri has provided us in the new version so friend this is a now we let us discuss the third option that is a forward where we use this forward option friend sometimes what happen i tell you one scenario that in a suppose that i am working in a consultancy if the four people are working along with me in my in the same consultancy and i am working on the front end requirement my colleague who is sitting with me that is working on the back end requirement as i told that whatever we make a search we do not get the 100% exactly result of the cv related to the front end developer okay we get up the mix up profile sometimes we get up the mix up profile so suppose that i am working on the front end developer but meanwhile i have found one profile related to the back end developer and i know that my colleague who is sitting <coughs> with me she is working on the back end developer profile so this uh, suppose that this profile is related to the back end developer so i just directly click on the forward button in this way i can directly send this resume to my colleague how just only mention the mail id of particular candidate to whom you want to share suppose that i want to share with one of my friend name is rajji @rajji@claritasconsulting.com uh, we are working in a same company okay friend so i had just mentioned the mail id of my friend subject line it will automatically it will take it that is i am sending the resume of candidate having the 14 year experience location of candidate is the hyderabad title is he is a technical delivery architect of the azure cloud here if you want to write a message for my friend just click on uh, just mention that hi rajji i am sending you one cv uh, just only mention hi rajji this cv is related to ऐसे हम कुछ लाइक वी कैन मेंशन दैट दिस सी बी इज रिलेटेड टू द बैक एंड डेवलपर ओके फ्रेंड वी कैन आल्सो मेंशन टाइप द मैसेज हियर इफ आई वांट टू सेंड अ रिज्यूमे एज वेल इफ यू आई वांट टू सेंड अ रिज्यूमे ऑफ दिस कैंडिडेट एज एन अटैचमेंट जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस क्लिक ऑन दिस ऑप्शन एंड क्लिक ऑन द फॉरवर्ड वंस आई क्लिक ऑन द फॉरवर्ड हियर यू जस्ट सी द नोटिफिकेशन दैट सक्सेसफुली फॉरवर्डेड द सी बी to the particular mail id which i mentioned okay friend i hope that these three options are clear add to email and forward now let us discuss the set reminder this is a very helpful option friend set reminder we can use it in a multiple scenario i tell you one or two scenario that how to use the set reminder option friend sometime what happened that when we call to the candidate candidate said that madam please send me the jd i will go through that then i will get back to you okay friend then uh, suppose that i have find out the 
10 relevant CV and this first candidate is saying that first send me the JD but I have remaining 9, nine candidate as well okay so I just I, I basically what I do in the recruitment industry I send the JD obviously I will send the JD to this particular candidate but not right now because as of now I have remaining 9 candidate as well to whom I want to talk okay so here I just click on this set reminder option and the title could be anything that I will call later or for interview follow up for and for the interview follow up for sending JD for other tasks whatever title you want to select just click on this my title my scenario is related to for sending JD this candidate is asking to send the JD but I don't have time right now so just click on the reminder option and click on this for sending JD task de description just mentioned that for sending JD I have clicked on for sending JD on which date just click on the date and time for the reminder purpose on the same date 11 September time just click on 3 uh, whatever time you want to select I have clicked on this 3 pm and here also like click on this option mail calendar invitation to me how it will remind me it will send me a mail calendar invitation on my mail id this is a very good option for new one as well it may help you a lot click on this set reminder you will find a green option that reminder for sending jd has been added added okay now at the 3 pm it will send me a reminder on my mail id that you have to send the jd to this particular candidate okay friend so title could be anything just for the reminder purpose title could be like i will call this candidate later sometimes candidates say that madam i will call you later i am in a meeting right now okay that time i can that time we can ask to candidate that what is a good time to talk if candidate say that after two hours you may call me so just click on the reminder button for call later at 2 pm okay for interview follow up if i have scheduled the interview of this particular candidate if his interview is scheduled at the 4 pm at the evening time so i can click on this reminder option so it will send me a mail invitation on my mail id that you have to do the follow up with this particular candidate for interview purpose so title could be anything and this set reminder option is very really helpful because you know friend in the recruitment industry if you are in a recruitment so we have to do the multitask we have to be multi talented sometimes it becomes hard to remember all the things so, so this that is where Nokri portal has added this option to ease our work okay now this is the last option message how to use this message option so friends sometimes you might have seen that when we call to the candidate so the candidate number is switched off not reachable in this scenario we are unable to reach out to the we are unable to talk with the candidate so that time you just click on this message button and write to this particular candidate like i have already mentioned that hi buddy are you looking for a job change so if I get a reply from this candidate that yes, I have, uh, yes, I'm looking for a job change. So I can, if here I can mention the JD or here I can chat with the candidate that your number is not reachable. Can you please uh, you share me your contact number? Okay. In this way, we can start our conversation with the particular candidate. Okay, friend. So see, look here today, I have already sent one message that are you looking for a job change? So this candidate also seen my message as well. You can see the last scene on 7 September. Okay, as of now, he has not seen my message. Once he will see, here I will get a notification that seen. Okay, so this is this option is available just to start a conversation with the candidate. When candidate uh, the mobile number is switched off or contact number is not reachable, that time we can use this message option. I hope friend that all the doubts are clear you have understood these five options very well if you still if you have any kind of doubt just mention in a comment box i will clear it out so i hope friends you like this video thank you so much for watching this video i am going to end up here thank you so much please do not forget to subscribe my channel as well have a good day friends